And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft II commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Southwest, up against TKS Gamer, the Blue Zerg in the Southeast. Uh, we are on Shakura's Plateau. I, I don't know why I like saying it like that, but I love it, Shakura. Um, still not used to seeing Zerg on the other side. You know, Zerg are, seem to be so rare in this game. I remember in StarCraft 1, they were, I believe, the most played race. At least they were the ones I saw the most. Uh, they love to go for that Zergling rush, and I'm always scared of that, even when I play this game. Even though I've pretty much shown that it doesn't work that well. An extractor trick going down, so he is 11 out of 10. What that is, is you go f for the extractor on the geyser, cancel it, and suddenly you've got that drone back. You know. Well, I missed a step there. Put the, put him to the geyser, train a drone, then cancel the geyser, and then put him back. So then you get 11 out of 10. Overlord going, looks like, to the wrong side of the map. He is sending it across the long way. And I am pretty much going for my standard build here. Um, I, I don't, I pick, I got one of the worst sides for a Terran player to block, try to block off here. Um, this is kind of a weird angle considering the, um, the angles of the buildings. Sending, uh, my SCV, the one that built the supply depot, out to Scout. He is going for a fast expansion, but I do not blame him. This is, this would be the map to do it on. Uh, especially since I don't even know where he is yet, and that that hatchery will probably finish before I do. It looks like I'm going to the northeast next, uh, so this guy will definitely finish before I can do anything about it. First refinery is up for me. Barracks is up. Morphing that into an orbital command. Up to 36 APM to get that done. That's right, baby. About half his APM. That's crazy. Spawning pool going down. And continuing to get drones. Get that hatchery. Oh, look at that. It's almost done. And I still... Did I even see that? Let's see. One. I'm on one here. So, yes, I did see that. Uh, but yeah, it's way too late for me to do anything about it, and I do see that spawning pool, uh, so, I'm, you know, I don't have my timings down, so I don't know which one came first, you know, but that hatchery does finish before I leave, and he is getting that queen out first, along with some zerglings, looks like four of them are on the way. Meanwhile, I do have my first marine out getting that uh, supply depot down too because just because they go for that fast expansion does not mean they're not going to rush you. Um, just means they can produce units faster a little bit later on and that's always good for a rush. And here I supply lock myself but I am getting that supply depot up there. Uh, once again this is not going to be the best block off. Um, if I get that ever get it finished it looks like I do get it finished there, but the supply depots are uh, going to be a weak spot if he comes up with roaches or banelings, especially banelings. They can destroy those so easily. Spine crawler is going up, so it looks like he is not going to be rushing. He is scared of my rush instead. And that is why he spent so much on economy. He doesn't look like he spent very much on anything else, uh, even though he's got to have a huge lead in the income no oh well he's transferring right now that's why uh no gas yet for him that is strange that first extractor just finishing right now he does have drones just chilling out next to the queen that just in awe of her dreadlocks or whatever those are not sure and you turn so i can't see it come on let me see those what what are those? Like dreadlocks? Yeah, oh, whatever. There's a game going on, I swear. So I am getting the army. Once again, three racks into an engineering bay. I don't have enough 
to uh, get that weapons upgrade yet, but I do have both my my gas going. Just started look at getting that right now, though, it looks like. But he still has a huge lead in the minerals thanks to all those drones. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, there might be too many here. See, that's 24. A lot of people will say that is full saturation. But look how much time is spent going back and forth. That's To me, that's oversaturation. Uh, those guys aren't getting anything done faster. And it looks like there's two to three at a time. So uh, 21, 22 seems to be about uh, the best spot to get those minerals done. A little bit undersaturated here, so I would like to see a transfer, but I'm pretty sure he's confident in his 24 on one. Four Zerglings in here to make sure I don't get an expansion, but I don't because I'm scared to do that against Zerg. I can't see him from there, but um, looks like he's got reinforcements on the way. He is going to be getting two more extractors. In come the test Zerglings, I'm going to call them. And down go most of them. One does survive with full life. So he is going to go home and tell his friends, like, dude, they've got a massive marine marauder ball there. Even though that's not that big. Lair finishing for the gamer. Baneling nest on the way as well. Here. Uh, Zerg players love to hide their tech here. I should learn to scan back here, really. Uh, Roachworn and Banelings, they'll tell you so much. What it tells me right now is that he's not going to be getting Mutas, and if I had known that, I would not put these guys up. Oh, Missile Turrets. You're probably going to be useless this game. Overlord chillin', uh, because the one uh, Zergling didn't want to risk his life to scan to make sure I didn't get the expansion. Um, this is one thing I always hated is that if I have too many guys here, I uh, this guy is stuck out in front of the supply depot and there's not much I can do about that. Looks like he's getting glial reconstitution and centrifugal ho hooks for his um, roach baneling army that he is surely to get. Even though he's got a massive amount of zerglings right now, they should be morphing into banelings eventually. How much does that even cost? Uh, 25 25 uh, So not that much. A lot less than I had thought. Um, and of course, they're cheap. So we're talking 75, 25 units. So that's less than it cost me to get one Marauder, which are, of course, 100 minerals, 25 gas. Here I check out the check out the watchtower here. Going for my first push, and of course, if I had done it even, I don't know, a minute earlier, would have been a completely different game. I'm always a little late on my first push, but this is a huge map. So I wanted to get a huge number before I went in, and there go almost all the mer all the banelings. I need to learn to tech uh, to to micro against those banelings. Am I gonna have enough here to take out? No, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to take out even one of the spine crawlers because I refuse to focus them. It looked like uh, so they will slowly regenerate those health, even though they're bleeding all over the place. More banelings on the way. Uh, and Zerglings coming out. I assume they'll be turned into Banelings as well. So where is their Armai Factories going down with the Tech Lab? Hopefully I can get some Siege Tanks out and try to explode those Banelings on each other. Even though they don't do splash damage to friendly units. Which has kind of always made me mad. An explosion is an explosion. Even if it's acid and green. Acidic and green, I should say. Use my proper English. 